Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this would be pretty interesting, I would guess. I mean, the Trump empire, it looks like, you know, without her case even going to court, I mean, in front of a jury anyway, um, Letitia James has, uh, looks like she's getting ready to cut Trump off at the knees. The judge has agreed with her that everything that she's alleging is so obvious, there's so much evidence that he doesn't even have to have a trial on the subject of whether he, Trump has been committing fraud for years. And um, so that's what uh, this video is going to be about. And I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Yeah, this should be pretty interesting. It's going to be, um, we'll see what the cards say. Uh, if he's going to lose everything, if he's going to be out of work huh, in New York. And uh, those businesses are going to go under. I try to remember the names of a few of them. Uh, the seven, seven Seas or Seven Springs, I think is the one with his, he's, all the kids have a house there. And uh, of course there's Bar Lago, uh, which isn't in New York. And then, um, Trump Tower itself, which he doesn't really own. He just owns the management company that, that handles the property. Each individual owner owns their place in Trump Tower. Maybe the retail space, he might own that. So we're just going to dig into it. But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation. Trump's empire, is it effectively gone? Is it written off now? Can the cards tell us um, his New York uh, businesses, will the majority of those, this will be a warm up, three card pull, will the majority of those be um, done and over? One, two, three. Probably done immediately. I imagine it's gonna take some time, but the majority of the, his businesses from New York, are they going to be done? Well, the first thing we have is the Two of Wands. This is short-term plans. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement, and the Two of Wands are short-term plans. So this is going to come in the short term, and it's interesting that we see a, uh, what looks like a woman here in charge of the, these plans. <coughs> Next card is the Chariot. Well, it's going to be coming on sooner rather than later, and again, there's a woman uh, piloting that Chariot. And then, wow, the moon and another woman and the secrets being revealed. Yeah, I think all of this draw one more card. Just to see, yeah, Ten of Swords, which is uh, truth, justice, rules, and law. So, yeah, this is the end of a cycle completely. So, will uh, his businesses be finished, um, you know, the majority of them in New York? Yeah, it's a short-term plan. It's coming on quick. Uh, all the secrets are going to be revealed, which, of course, there's a, a woman, I believe, who's in charge of disgorging that's a beautiful word you should look that word up disgorging i'll see if i can remember to put it on the screen uh to um to oversee the you know end of those businesses and ten of swords is a complete definite end so yeah they're go they're gone wow it's just a matter of waiting uh, for them to take their last breath very interesting so now let's go over them individually okay the few that i can think of uh, let's do the the one that you may be least familiar with, and then we'll end up with the one that you're most familiar with. We'll just do three of them. So uh, three of the properties. So the first one is going to be um, Seven Springs. So Seven Springs is a compound. I'm not even sure if it's a golf course also, but it's a compound where all the Trump kids uh, and Trump uh, have a, a, a home, a manor, you know. So Seven Springs. Is he going to lose seven springs? Three cards. One, two, 
three will he will they seven screens gonna be lost seven springs is that gonna be lost the fool so it's a new journey for that property the fool is starting off on a new journey so it's a new a new journey for that property uh, seven of swords is uh, theft and betrayal that's how they got it and that's the center card and the last one is the four of cups being offered something you really don't want emotional the four of cups is emotional um, situations those they consider this one of their homes this isn't just a business this is one of their home and um, so whatever is being offered here, some doesn't want. Seven Springs is gone. Okay, so now let's talk about. Um, I want to leave the Florida property for last. Uh, Trump Tower. He doesn't really own the tower. I'm not sure what else he owns uh, outright. You know, he had. He may not own those anymore. Um, I guess it's, it's best to go ahead and ask about Trump Tower. So, well, he's got that beautiful triplex apartment there. Triplex meaning three floors. So he's got the end of 10,000 square feet plus or minus, not 30,000 square feet plus or minus. So will he, use, will he lose uh, his interest in Trump Tower, his apartment? All of that. Three cards. One, two, three. The apartment, Trump Tower. Is that gone? First card, Temperance. Okay, so Temperance is finding a balance. Okay, and this is a major arcana. So they're gonna look for a balance, maybe because this is home. Next card is the Hierophant. The government is in charge. Third card is the Page of Wands. So Page of Actions, Plans, Forward Movement. Page is a very weakest member of the Royal Court. You know, you've got a Page, um, you've got the King, the Queen, the Prince, Princess, the Knights, and then at the end, below all of that, you've got the Page who brings a message here. And uh, so I think uh, this uh, action, um, there's going to be very little to do to save it. So it's, it's finding a balance. The things in his favor in this deck, in this layout right here, is finding a balance and this very weak page of actions. But the Hierophant is going to um, is going to get with the, with the government, and the Hierophant is a government is going to get what belongs to them. Now let's do six cards for Mar a Lago. Mar a Lago. He considers this his home. Um, but it's a it's a country club. It's not zoned to be residential. And as a matter of fact, in the bylaws, he can't even live there full time, which he does. He just violates the bylaws. So the zoning, uh, really, of the property, not even the bylaws, bylaws, but the zoning of the property in that county uh, in Florida. So Mar-a-Lago, six cards. Is Mar-a-Lago going to be gone? Okay, one. Two, three, four, five, six. mar is that one going to be gone? Sleep for a card. Okay, King of Wands, King of Actions, Plans, Forward Movement. I just feel like this is Trump. He's, he's working on something right now to kind of protect his precious mar -Lago. Next one, the challenge to it is the Two of Swords making some choices. Choices having to be made. That's, um, I think these are his choices because he's going to have to sell stuff. And uh, so he's got a plan. I think he doesn't want to sell it. The base of this thing is the page of coins. Coins are value. Page is very low value. And so the base of it is that this mar -Lago property in the grand scheme of things is going to have very little value. Well, his son, Eric, just said it was worth a billion dollars as far as he was concerned. But I think in this, him trying to save that property for him to, it's like a castle for him to live out at the end of his days. Uh, it's going to have very little value in actual valuation towards paying his debt, perhaps. And that's the basis of this is where can we get the most value out of his properties? Or his interest in properties, I should say. In the past of this, regarding mar lago look, it's over. We got that in the last uh, uh, group of cards. It's all over. The sky of this is the magician. It's going to take a, a magician to salvage very much once this is done. Wow, this Letitia James case. And then the final is the hanged man looking at something from another perspective. He is hanged. Yeah. Mar-a-Lago, you know, does this, let me draw one more card. Mar-a-Lago, is it going to survive or go? And the Knight of Coins. So the, the Knight is the fighter of the Royal Coat, 
uh, court, the value, this is Trump, he's going to fight for that Mar-a-Lago place. He's going to fight for Mar-a-Lago. That's interesting. So he's got left. So, um, and, and it reads that the, the King of Wands, this is Trump, he's got uh, what he thinks is, is the plan because decisions have to be made and he hopes that the decision will be that this property is so uh, of little value towards the debts that it won't uh, come into the play for for being sold. Um, everything is over. It's all over. Now it's just a matter of sorting things out. And uh, it's going to take a magician to to make this work out in some way that's favorable to Trump, even if he's free. And then the, the final outcome is that looking at things from another perspective is the hanged man. And then the very, very last card of this is this Knight of Coins. Is Trump uh, becoming uh, the Knight of Coins, fighting, fighting, fighting for that property at Mar-a-Lago. Wow. He's not going to give that up easily. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.